Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Taylor and this is Life with Taylor. Here on this channel, I wanna do a lot of different kinds of content. Um, I really don't have a niche, 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 however you say that. I really don't have like a certain genre or anywhere that I really fit into. So I'm gonna just be doing a lot of different things, basically all kinds of videos, hence the name Life with Taylor. Um, from vlogs, vacation videos, some fashion, some challenges. I just want to do all kinds of stuff. And today I'm going to be doing a haul from Nasty Gal and Pretty Little Thing. This is actually my first time ordering from either one of these places. So I just thought why not make a video of what I ordered and how it went. I just found out about Nasty Gal about three weeks ago. I actually found it on another YouTuber's TikTok. Her name is Samantha Joe. Shout out to Samantha Joe. I actually did a TikTok of her haul of all the clothes and stuff like that. And they were really cute clothes and I had never heard of Nasty Gal before that. So I figured I would just order some things and give it a try. And pretty much the same thing with Pretty Little Thing. I had been hearing a lot about Pretty Little Thing. I just never wanted to order anything or never thought to order anything. So I just decided to purchase a few things and just see how I like it. So first up we're going to check out what I ordered from Pretty Little Thing. Okay so the first thing that I ordered was this white peplum top. Um, it's really short. I'm not sure why, but here lately I've been seeing a lot of plus size clothes and they are super short in the torso. I have no idea why. This being a peplum, it's kind of forgiving though because it has that little like ruffle effect around your stomach so you can't really tell how short it is, especially if you like pull up your jeans really high. Um, my only issue with this shirt is how see-through it is. It has like the non-slip, the non-slip grip in there I don't know if you guys could see that so if you do decide to wear this without a bra you do have that little rubber there that'll keep it kind of um, stuck to you it does have adjustable straps which is always needed with spaghetti strap shirts like this I actually ordered a size 1x that's another thing that I'm starting to see or that I noticed about both pretty little thing and nasty gal their sizing is kind of weird some things have the 1x 2x and then some things just go by numbers like a 16 18 and so forth so i just kind of had to guess here um so a 1x it did fit me very well again i said my only issue with this shirt is that it's so see-through that i don't know how i would ever wear this another weird thing about it they have this side zipper and it's not even it doesn't even go all the way up to the top i'm not sure what the point of this zipper is unless it's just to give you a little extra room on the side it's not like securing anything it's just a, a zipper on the side i'm not sure what that's for but yeah so this is the first top and everything that i am going to talk about today i'll try to link it below so the next top that i got when i saw it it immediately gave me mariah carey vibes it was mariah carey and the i want to say heartbreaker video i'm gonna i'm a um insert a picture if I can find one but I saw it and I was like oh Mariah Carey moment I need to have it so I ordered it don't know what I was thinking I do not wear stuff like this but I just thought it was so cute and I wanted to give it a try and also I'm trying to step out of my comfort zone which is the whole point of this channel I'm gonna actually drop a whole nother video explaining why I started YouTube in the first place just trying to get out of my show but here I tried and mm, it's not that I didn't like it I, I think I could definitely pull it off what I did not like about this shirt is the knit now granted the knitting is why I decided to buy it in the first place but putting it on this is one of those things you could tell after wearing it a few times it's gonna stretch this is straight up knitting like knit like somebody hand it it seems like someone hand knitted this which is cute, but I feel like it's going to lose its shape after a few wears or a few washes. So I'm not sure about this one. Um, I got this one in a size US 18. So the first one was 1X. This one is on like a number scale, so at 18. But this is so cute. It reminds me of Mariah. And I thought I could wear this with some bell bottom jeans, some nice hoops, big bangles, very early 2000s vibes. Um, yeah, so cute. The last thing I got from Pretty Little Thing is this floral off the shoulder top. 
I saw this on someone on Instagram and I I wanted it so bad it was so cute so it's purple I guess it's purple flowers with lemons on there I think these are lemons yeah can you see that and so it's really cute it's a zip up in the back and then so essentially this is a tube top with a zipper in the back and then your sleeves are off to the side like this and so you just stick your arms in the sleeves off to the side um generally i don't like off the shoulder tops because i don't like my shoulders but this i don't like my shoulders because they're they're very broad and they're not very feminine but something about this shirt makes me feel so girly and feminine and that's different for me so i really really like this shirt however it doesn't fit me the right way unfortunately um i think the cups are too big the cups it fit everywhere except for the cups the cups kept sliding down like maybe they were too big for me this shirt does also have that rubber in the um cup area to help it stay up i got the shirt in a size 18. i could have done this in a 16 i think and i'm actually debating if i want to return it and try it in a 16 because i like this shirt so much so that's all for my pretty little thing haul so next we're going to see what i ordered from nasty gal so the first thing that i ordered from nasty gal was this little drape cami type of shirt i've seen a lot of people wear this kind of shirt so basically it's just like a silk camisole with like the little draping in the neck um, I've seen a lot of people wear this and I think it's really cute. I love the draping and I really, really like this color. I got this in a size 18 on US 18. Now this is also very short in the torso, but this can work because I think that if I were to wear this, I'd probably tuck it in some jeans anyway and I don't need all that extra at the bottom to tuck in. So yeah, it's really good material, very thick. And then in the ruching part, it's really thick. Um, it's not see-through. You do have that elastic around the back. I don't know if you can see that. And you do have the adjustable straps, which is always needed when it comes to spaghetti or thin straps like this. All right, so the next thing that I bought was these polka dot shorts. So I am in love with these shorts. 10 out of 10 would recommend the shape of them. So cute. So it's really like fitted around the waist and then when you get to the opening with the legs of the shorts it's really frilly and i just love the shape of them if the wind blows a certain way i might be I might be a little messed up we might have a, a moment because of how frilly and loose they are then i, I really like that these could either be dressed up or dressed down but i think i want to wear these with like a band t-shirt like something really really casual so i got these in a size us 18 I love the way these shorts are shaped. They're very tapered like in the waist area and I could wear them pretty high up. And then the legs are very frilly and open. The way that the legs of these shorts lay, I think it is so cute. And you know, they almost it almost looks like you're wearing like a skirt. I think these are just 10 out of 10. I love these and I wish they came in different colors. Okay, so the last two items that I bought, I actually bought them to wear together. Like I said, I found out about this store recently on TikTok, so I was just really just browsing to see what kind of stuff they had. I just saw this as an outfit put together on one of the models. I know it's lame to dress off a model, but I'm not very fashion savvy. So any kind of assistance that I can get, I'm gonna take it. So basically the model on the website had on this leopard mini skirt with this band t-shirt. It's just a Def Leppard band t-shirt. I thought it was so cute because it was a play on the leopard print and the band Def Leppard. So I got this skirt in a size 18. Um, I love everything about it. It's very comfortable. It's a good length. I am 5'5". Five five. If you're any taller than that, um, it's probably going to be kind of short. One complaint I do have, it's like good and bad. The good thing about this skirt is that it does come with like a, a black lining under it. It's not just a sheer skirt. But the lining keeps slipping out of the bottom. I don't know if I'm going to have to pin the lining up a little bit to prevent it from slipping out of the bottom. But other than that, I have no complaints. I love this skirt. And again, this is in a size 18. I could have done a 16. I think I'm finding that I am actually a size 16. And I need to stop assuming that I'm an 18 for whatever reason. So next haul, I'm going to be ordering. I'm going to try to order more 16s. But this t-shirt... I got it in a size 
1820. For 1820, this was kind of snug on me, but for the style, I think that I wanted this t-shirt to be a little bit more fitted to wear with the skirt versus how I normally wear my t-shirts, kind of baggy and loose. So that's fine that this was more fitted than I would have liked. I love this outfit. I think it's cute. I think that it's like the perfect combination of like feminine and just relaxed because that's what I love. I love relaxed, chill looks, but I also want to be feminine at the same time. All right, you guys, so that is it for this haul. I guess I could call it a haul. It's kind of a mini haul. Um, let me know if you like this kind of content from me or if there's any more stores that I probably don't know about that you think I should shop at. Just comment those down below. If you like this video and want to see more content from me, feel free to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.